Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.9 PC Edition and uh, I'm here in Unary Bits uh, tutorial world on his uh, carrot potato farm in order to show how to convert this from the 1.8 mechanics to the 1.9 mechanics. Uh, now uh, the first question uh, to ask here is whether or not you actually need to convert this at all. Uh, and um, uh, and that's because the uh, the, the villagers here, uh, or we have a farming villager there, um, in some of the later snapshots, it seems as though they've got a better arc on their food, <laughs> on their food throwing abilities, and so um, the food is much less likely to get picked up by the villager in the layer below, uh, and much less likely to get stuck on the slab here. In fact, I've, I've had several of these farms uh, uh, going on, um, uh, and uh, about only about half of them uh, actually um, uh, stopped working after many, many hours of letting them run. Uh, so uh, if you have, uh, if you didn't play through the snapshots, if you're just going directly from 1.8 to 1.9, uh, you may want to just let this farm run and see how long it goes uh, before deciding to try to upgrade anything. Uh, it's uh, that would be my recommendation. Once you uh, only bother to convert it once you start seeing a drop in the output of the farm. Uh, otherwise, just let it go. Uh, but if you did play in the snapshots, um, probably what has happened is um, your villager here uh, has uh, gotten some food from the layer above, uh, in which case um, this farming villager is no longer going to throw food to him, and so he's, he's already got enough food, his in inventory stopped farming, and, and uh, the, the output from this farm layer will have stopped. Uh, in that case, at the very least, you're going to have to replace this villager here, and you don't actually have to put in the fix that I'm going to show, uh, but um, uh, you might want to just because it's a really easy way to replace the villager here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, let me uh, go into game mode zero. Uh, everything that I'm going to need is um, in my hotbar here. Uh, I'm just going to need an axe and a hoe to uh, uh, retail some dirt. Uh, a torch, uh, one stack of whatever crop uh, you have in this particular layer, uh, a few blocks, trapdoor, a few signs, a stone pressure plate, uh, and uh, uh, we're going to need a couple of buckets. Um, the very first thing that you want to do is actually uh, immobilize this farming villager <laughs> because he's just going to kind of get in the way. Um, so I'm going to make sure that he's uh, stuck there. And one of the ways in which I'm going to make sure he's stuck is make sure he doesn't actually come back to the center. So I'm going to give the center block some light so the crop isn't going to pop out when he leaves. Uh, and as soon as he leaves, uh, I'm going to uh, pin him against one of the corners uh, in order to make sure that he's no longer roaming around the farm. Okay, so once he's uh, left the center, if uh, the center block is unplanted, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, plant it with the crops that I brought with me. Uh, but uh, otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, throw this guy the stuff that I have. Um, <laughs> if, if he'll take it, he's going to stand uh, still at least a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to throw him the crops that I have in order to get him to stop farming. Uh, and once he's stopped farming, um, the block in the center is planted, so there's no bare blocks of farmland up here. Uh, I can just kind of push him around, and I'm going to push him towards the corner and then just lock him in place with some blocks here. So he can just stay there for a little while. Um, and let me go ahead and grab a couple of these back. I'm going to need them. All right, he's stuck there. He's not going anywhere. He's not going to bother me while I'm uh, doing the rest of the fix here. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, and uh, now this villager here, uh, if this villager um, does not have any food, um, if, uh, it's, he's in, if you're just trying to convert this to the version that I'm going to show, and this villager is still fine, the farming villager is still throwing food to him, uh, then you don't need to replace him. Uh, otherwise, you're probably going to need to replace him. Uh, so I'm going to knock out uh, this piece of string here that was above this crop and this piece of string that's holding the carpet in place. Now I've gotten both the uh, both the string and the carpet. I'm going to need the carpet, but I don't need the string anymore. I can get rid of that. Um, this villager, uh, like I said, if uh, he's got some food, you're going to need to replace him. Uh, uh, you can maybe bring him somewhere else, uh, do some trading with him or something. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this guy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, so um, once that, that villager is moved out, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, half slab here, grab that, and above me, 
Um, so uh, above me here, there's a full block. I'm going to uh, dig that out, and I'm going to take that half slab that I just removed, and I'm going to make it a top half slab uh, where that full block used to be. And underneath that, I'm going to put a trap door that opens uh, then towards the center. So just like that. And I'm going to want to put uh, two water source blocks, one right here and one right here. Uh, one of those water source blocks I'm going to take from this water stream here. Uh, and in place of where that uh, water source block was, I'm going to put up uh, two blocks. Okay. Uh, and in the back there, I'm going to drop a sign. And I'm going to put a sign right here. And then two more signs down here. One goes there, and one is going to go where this crop is. I'm going to grab that, uh, remove that crop and put the sign there. Uh, and now this uh, uh, block of farmland uh, got converted to dirt because I placed the sign. Uh, that's okay. I, um, I'm going to dig that out anyway so I can get uh, another bucket of water and uh, go ahead and put that dirt back. So now I've got my two buckets of water. Um, I'm going to place these two directly underneath the trap door. There's one and two. And uh, if, you, if you're still there, you'll be able to feel the, uh, the force of the current uh, pushing you uh, towards, um, uh, towards that block there. Uh, that's good. That's exactly what we want because now it's time to bring in a new villager uh, with an empty inventory or, or some, uh, a villager that doesn't have any food. Be sure that you do not uh, that you do not bring in a villager that is a brown robe villager because um, that uh, that brown robe villager is going to try to farm <laughs> the uh, mature crops around here. Uh, so bring in uh, bring in somebody else like a librarian, for example. Uh, and then uh, just push him into the center here and uh, let him get caught up in the water stream and he'll go up. Uh, once he's up, I'm going to make use of that carpet that I recovered and I'm going to place the carpet um, uh, against the block where he is. That's, uh, where, uh, that's the block directly underneath the trap door where I placed that first bucket of water. And that carpet goes in place and now he's uh, standing directly on the carpet um, just exactly where we want him to be. Uh, at this point, you can uh, knock out the signs, get rid of that one, put a, and put a block in place. And now you can get rid of this one over the dirt. Retill the dirt. You don't have to plant anything there. Uh, now get rid of this crop here because we're going to dig out this, uh, dig out this uh, farmland. Place a regular block there with a stone pressure plate on top. And get rid of the torch. Okay, and uh, now we're all set. Um, uh, we can uh, release the farmer. Uh, where do we go? I guess he's over here. And um, he's just going to start back up. Um, he's got an inventory, but now that uh, block of farmland is bare, so he's coming over to share food with that villager. Uh, and um, and, and that's, uh, that's all. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty easy process. Um, uh, I, uh, you're going to want to do this um, for all of the layers of this particular farm and go from top to bottom. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, much e it's much easier to go from, from top to bottom. Uh, and uh, I think that is all then for this video. <laughs> if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments. And thanks for watching.